a mountain bike trail, athletic fields, and wildlife overlooks. All have been laid out as a part of a plan to fix the flooding threat in one Virginia Beach community. Now we told you last winter that the Bow Creek Golf Course's days could be numbered to make that happen. The new side's Brett Hall continues to follow this proposal with the latest tonight. Brett? Well, obviously, the mountain bike trail itself isn't the vehicle to stop the flooding. However, it could be part of a bigger park that is. That's the stormwater park, and that is, of course, what could become of the golf course. That's what the property could be turned into. But how long will it take? Maybe a decade. And for some, that's not a comforting one bit. He was one of them. We didn't have flood insurance and we were not in a flood zone. Rick DeSorti was one of the many blindsided homeowners in Princess Anne Plaza who saw thousands of dollars in damages when Hurricane Matthew blew through in 2016. I want to know that we're not going to flood again because they're doing something. Tonight we learned that something may take some time. It's going to take about 8 to 12 years to build it if, if it goes through. The conversion of the city's 18-hole Bow Creek Golf Course into a stormwater management park. While it will add acres and acres of places for stormwater to go, Michael Mundy with the city says the idea is to make sure the community also can still utilize the 121 acres with nature trails, athletic fields, and other recreation forms. You could dig one big hole, but once you've got a deep hole, if it's already filled with water, that's not available storage. So you want, water, you want above that normal water elevation where you can store water. So since that area is open, now you can make use of it to do other things with it. And while some may say keep the golf course, DeSorti agrees that keeping water out of the nearly 1,000 homes in the area is top priority. We have flood insurance now. I hope I never have to use it again. We all hope that. Now City Council still needs to give final approval on this project and to fund it. That could cost between 60 and 80 million dollars according to estimates. Now for those fans of the golf course know, know this. The earliest it would likely close down, 2023. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.